in the early years, as we are as young people, the enemy wakes up in your head and he whispers and he wants to take control of your heart. And he's been whispering a lot lately in this season that we are in, in the corona season. He's been whispering much lately. He's telling you, you're making the wrong choice. Don't read your Bible. You're alone. No one else is watching. You know, take one more glass of beer. Take one more puff of the cigarette. Watch one more bad movie. Visit your favorite porn site. He's whispering much lately and he's telling you you can get away with it. And this whisper has wasted lives, has wasted ambitions, has wasted relationships. He tells you that the grass is greener on the other side. And you believe him and you move on with him. Not noticing he's turning you into an animal, a herbivore that only seeks grass green on the other side. Not noticing that now you're being fattened for the slaughter and he'll have you for breakfast, lunch and supper and desert if he wants and serve you for seconds to other people and the enemy takes you away. That's what he wants. He wants to steal, to kill and to destroy. Only a heart inclined to purity will choose forgiveness over revenge and say, if revenge is a dish best served cold, then I've had my fill. I do not want it anymore. Only a pure heart will choose peace. Only a pure heart will choose holy anger like Christ when he had zeal for the house of God. Only a pure heart can do that. 